So this is the readout for Christoph magazine. I'm here at High Grounds with Catherine Popper. Welcome. Hello. Um, how are you finding your exhibition so far? Tell us a bit about the Road Transit. Well, <laughs> um, basically it's a collection of lots and lots of work that I've done over the past 60 years. So it's just the best bits that I can you know, pull together and it's, it's Sort of a description of a gem. Um, How has the exhibition gone so far? It's been running since the first of April, almost the end of the month now. Yep. How has it been going here at High Ground? Really well, actually. Um, there's been a lot of very, very positive feedback. Um, sold lots of stuff, yeah. which is kind of mind blowing. Yeah, you didn't first, expect to sell any? Uh, yeah. like, you know, emerging artists, first solo exhibition, yeah. not expecting that much attention. And, um, yeah, it just went through the roof. So, yeah. We've even had, um, I'm not sure if this is a compliment or not, but one of the works was actually stolen off the wall the other night. <laughs> so, um, I noticed that it's a very, like, uh, it's a shoestring exhibition. <laughs> um, I think, like, you know, it's framing. Tell us about, I mean, as, a, as an artist, when you go to get something in a frame, do you feel like it's, like, the cost is just, it's astronomical, it really yeah. is. Yeah. Um, a couple of my smaller pieces, uh, you know, the little, um, I think it's called Shelter, it's got a little man with an umbrella and a little part and it's being presented to that. For me to just present that as itself, yeah. about $10, $15, you know. If I was to put a frame on that, the price would jump up immediately to around $60, $80, maybe $100, depending on the price of the frame. So it's ridiculous. It's right. Absolutely, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I think you've done well. Um, Bulldog puts the string yeah. and. Uh, yeah. I think it reflects the nature of the exhibition as well, because none of the paintings, they're all a single thought or a single moment. And to try and frame that, to try and capture it and hold it into a, into a place with a huge big ugly, ugly frame doesn't really, or a huge big pretty beautiful frame. Um, does it really suit the nature of the, the thought behind the works? Because it's yeah, um, tangents and chants. They're all moments that stick. They're not really there for very long, so you can't really put them up there on the wall and worship them. So where do you get your inspiration from? Like you're saying that they're all just different moments in time. Like do they represent things that happen to you or just feeling? Or tell us a bit about that. Um, a lot of them are uh, very emotional moments. The, um, the Andrew Words one that's just there actually is um, uh, a depiction of a, a very strongly worded verbal fight. Um, there's a couple of moments that are very sort of me getting stuff out. If you're a breakup, you're pretty sad. I can't do anything, I have to get it out of my head to just paint it, you just splurge onto the paper, it's like I'm over it. Um, so a lot of them, especially a lot of freeform ones, are, you know, that explosive kind of, this is what's going on, just get it out. So you kind of see, so visual art for you is like a release? It, yeah, it really yeah. is, yeah. Um, I find it very relaxing to have it not bouncing around in my head anymore, <laughs> just as long as it's on paper, it'll be okay. Who are your like, role models? Um, well, it changes from all the time, really. When I was a lot younger, I, used to, I actually drew a lot of influence from Jackson Pollock. As you can see, when you're and they're running and they're really loose, looseness in the form. Um, Free Carlo, of course, Dali. And, um, then, a little while ago, sort of, um, there's a gentleman called Mark Tiller that runs out of Sydney, and he's get, he gets huge paintings, but they're made out of tiny canvases. So he's got this one painting that's 220 tiny canvases, all painted up, so they all join together to this huge thing. I find that really, a really inspiring idea. That's a great concept. It is, it's amazing. Do you yeah, have any, are there any pieces in this exhibition, your first solo exhibition, yep. that have sold that you were kind of hoping you wouldn't sell? That you <laughs> There's a few, yeah. Because um, I noticed that there are some on the, on the in the, the, the book that, you know, do you NFS and not for sale. Yep. Yep. But, yeah, surely, were there other ones there that you kind of were like, oh, I hope it goes to a good home, or yeah. someone who really loves it, or, Definitely. you know, like that kind of thing? Well, this, um, this green one here, 
the menopause. Really. That's probably one of my most recent, recently finished works, and one of the ones that was for me brought a lot of stuff together into a resolution, like with you know the balance of life, how you know, things come together and connect, and we learn and growing and getting over things and, and growing through them. And everything starting to come together, and that painting was a real reflection of that moment, which didn't really happened like maybe three months ago. And so I'm really still in that moment, I don't want it to let it go yet. Um, but a friend of mine bought it and she absolutely, she came up to me with tears in her eyes. She's like, I, it's, it's got me, I need it. <laughs> you know, like, and when something like that happens, you don't feel so bad because you know she's going to look at it and get so much out of it. And it's just going like, to improve her life and improve my life and spread the love, <laughs> get it out there. So do you have any, uh projects coming up in Adelaide or any further plans to exhibit this year in Oregon? Or? Um, probably. There's a, um, a company called, I don't know if it's a company, but there's a, um, a group called Renew Adelaide. Mm -hmm. and basically what they're doing is uh, going around the city and all the uh, disused office space. I think I've heard about this. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the, the buildings that don't get used or the rooms that don't get used, they're going to apply to the council and you know, get young artists set up in those spaces and try and bring a bit more life and sort of, you know, the the you know, get young artists set up in those spaces and try and bring a bit more life into the to the whole of the city that's starting to happen. I think they ran a really successful program, like a version of that in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. That's where it's yeah, sort of that's come where from. Yeah. But yeah, so you're going to so get involved with that? You want yeah. to get involved with that? Yeah. Um, well, congratulations on the exhibition and yeah. on all the sales. That's really good. Yeah, it's and, a really uh, positive sale. I think people are really lucky to see that kind of thing around. You know, yeah. that's something different. And good luck with the rest of it. And thank you for chatting to us.